presented the program uh, extremely well, always played football uh, the way it should be played uh, with great effort and, and, and passion and, and, and what, they've, what, they've, what they've done, I you know, have great uh, admiration for and appreciation for. And I want them to come back. I mean, this is kind of senior group that, that uh, as they go off onto their life's work, you really uh, you want to see them again. You want to you keep in touch. You want them to come back and visit and, and, uh, and, and know them. You know, um, it's that kind of group. We'll go front row, far right. Jim Quinn Nordine hit hit a 57 yarder that, that tied a school record and, and, and was right out, hit three field goals for you today. Talk about his effort, particularly on that kick. Yeah, it was a uh, it was a tremendous kick. He had he'd, he'd been kicking the ball really well um, leading up to the game. Hit three from that same spot in in pregame and um, got a good great snap and a great hold and and uh, you know, had a real Real good spin on the ball. He uh, hit it perfect. Stay in front row back here on the left on the aisle. Coach, it's Melissa Thomas of Florida National News. Um, and actually, this, this question is for, for you as well, Shay. Um, kind of talk about the, 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 bright, the biggest improvement that you've seen um, uh, in your team collectively, and then for you, kind of talk about your personal improvement that you've seen overall in the season. Yeah, our team... Uh, our team has, has improved in, in just about every area, offensively, defensively, uh, special teams, and in in, in in many areas. Uh, but the you know, the the leadership out of the group, I think I, I would pinpoint that as the as the uh, as the most as the as the the best thing, along with the effort. Uh, it's been a group of seniors that that have given uh, great effort and leadership, you know, throughout their careers, and especially this year. Over here on the left, standing. Jim, you guys really had the run game going in the first half. What did Alabama do in the second to try and keep it, stop it? Um, well, some of the, you know, some of the, they started cutting our edge. Um, you know, that was, that, uh, that jammed up a few of the outside running plays. Um, but I thought it's Son Haskins and, and Zach Charbonnet really w ran well the whole game. Um, we just, uh, you know, we didn't make enough, enough plays, keep enough drives going. We were backed up, you know, the one-yard line. I think we came out, got the ball out to the – we ended up getting a field goal. Uh, then the time we were on the four, um, drove it all the way to the 40. So there was some field position, but um, you know, I thought our guys – I thought they, they moved the ball uh, well in the running game throughout the game. Same area, a couple guys back. Jim, obviously you knew about Alabama's receivers and their speed and everything else. When you're on there, out on the field with them, does it jump out even more how hard it is to keep up with that, with that receiving core and maybe their speed in general? Yeah, it's an impressive group. Uh, yeah, I would, I would say that's as an impressive group you're going to ever see. They um, fast, but they also made the contested catches, made, uh, made some great catches, uh, ran some tremendous routes, and and uh, you know, we were able to get behind us two or three times. We're going to stay on the left, Mike. Yeah, Coach Harbaugh, can you just talk about Alabama's level of excellence over the past decade and what Coach Saban has done? And have you studied that? And, and why do you think they've been able to, to, to maintain what they have? Uh, yeah, I think um, their level of excellence has been at the highest level. Uh, and I think Coach Saban deserves uh, a great share of that credit. You know, uh, along with, along with the program that they've built, you know, it's at the highest level. Over on the right, three rows back. Hi, Jim. Can you talk about Giles Jackson's evolution this season and and how he's evolved and what type of uh, elements he brings to your guys' offense? Yeah, Giles um, is a real ascending player. He um, kick returns. Um, had, some, had some good ones um, today. I think he, he's a true freshman, so uh, you know, didn't know exactly what what you're going to have in a true freshman. But uh, you know, he has really, really produced and had a heck of a year. I thought he had a good game today. He made a real, real tough catch that, that got us a first down uh, in the game. I can't say enough good things about him. Back over front row left. 
Danny Thompson, three-point conversion. Jordan, what has Coach Harbaugh meant to you? What has he taught you at your time here at Michigan? Um, I mean, it's difficult to say right now. I haven't really you know, thought about it. I haven't really reflected that much as the season ended you know, 10 minutes ago. But uh, I mean, my experience at the University of Michigan and uh, Coach Harbaugh led teams you know, my brothers have been on them, and I was on them for my entire five years. And it's been an honor to be coached by Coach Harbaugh, by a person who, uh, you know, wants to develop a person's character as well as their football skills. And it's it's difficult to put into words, but it's, it's just been a pleasure playing for him and for the people that he's brought in. Over on the right, uh, four rows back. Coach, this game, the final score didn't reflect how close this game really was all the way through. What was the, the turning point where Alabama was able to create some separation? <clears throat> yeah, it was, a, it was a very competitive game through the half, uh, you know, into the, into the fourth quarter, you know, until, you, know, um, you know, really to about six minutes left in the game. Um, you know, we, um, their ability to create the, uh, the big play, um, was uh, was critical in the game, and uh, you know their ability to keep us, you know, out of the end zone um, on two of the drives we had had long drives and settled for field goals. I think um, uh, you know, and at at the end, you know, stopping us, you know, we had a we had a chance on, on the interception, and then and then they came back and, and drove the length of the field or 80 yards or or so. Uh, you know, that was that was a huge difference in the game. Just time for a couple more. We'll go over on the left, about four rows back. Jim, did, did you feel like there was an opportunity to, to hit some bigger plays down the field? We saw Shea take some shots. And, and what did you see from Shea just in terms of not quite being able to connect on some of those? Uh, yeah, there was, I, mean, I thought there was uh, some really good coverage um, on uh, some of the shot plays. I don't know that, uh, I don't know if he, he missed any any open receivers? Uh, I thought he, I thought he did. I thought Shea had a good game. I thought he, uh, I thought he did as much as he could in the game. Final question over on the left, fourth row. Right. I'm sorry. Jim, with Giles, Hassan, Zach, all having these, you know, solid games that they had today. Just what does that say about the future of the program and how you feel about the future of the program heading into next year? Yeah. Well, that that. Uh, you know, feel good about that. Feel good about uh, some of the young players that that got great experience this this season, and uh, you know them getting their opportunity, uh, going to work on that. I mean, it's is uh, you know as Jordan said, the season just, just ended ten minutes ago. So, uh, but I know I'm going to be I'm going to be excited about it.